Today, I want to talk about managed WordPress hosting versus using an unmanaged VPS, because a lot of you have asked me questions about this in the comments and by email. A lot of you are coming from a managed WordPress background and they want to make the jump to managing their own service. So I'll talk about the key differences and what you'll experience between these two. And I'll sort of give you a plan about the, what's the easiest way to switch from being a managed WordPress hosting user to running your own VPS. I'll give you some examples, including some of my preferred managed hosts like SiteGround and Cloudways, also some of my favorite VPSs like Vulture, DigitalOcean, and RackNerd. Uh, you'd also include the free tiers from Oracle and Google Cloud Platform in that unmanaged VPS category as well. So we'll talk about the differences. Cost effectiveness is obviously the huge issue where you get much more cost effectiveness from using a VPS. Also, you've got um, differences in the user interface and the user experience, which um, can be jarring to a lot of people coming from a managed background, looking to manage a server for themselves. And tech support, that can vary a lot between these, uh, depending on what you're going for. We'll talk, we'll talk a bit about that as well. Now let's start off by talking about cost effectiveness. So a good quality managed host like SiteGround, SiteGround.com, you can get uh, $25 a month uh, the Grow Big plan, that's their most popular plan. You get the first year for $5 a month, but $25 a month is your ongoing price. Similarly, another good one, Cloudways, um, $13 a month for Vulture High Frequency. DigitalOcean, you can start that on $10 a month, but really, it's really worth the extra $3. So $13 a month for some really fast, um, high frequency CPU server um, through Cloudways. And that gives you a managed WordPress server with 24 seven chat support. But of course, you can actually go directly to Vulture and just pay for the infrastructure itself. That's only $6 a month. I'll put a link in the description. You can get a 30 day free trial. But uh, this one, exactly the same performance as you get from Cloudways and it actually outperforms um, SiteGround's Grow Big Plan. I've been benchmarking these and the Vulture one is a bit faster than, than the SiteGround one here. So even though the price is way higher, um, this... Um, is way cheaper but the catch is you've got to install your own panel on there you've got to install wordpress yourself and you've got to manage it yourself but this actually doesn't have to be as hard as it sounds and if you want to go even cheaper there is rack nerd so i'll put a link in the description for rack nerd but they've got a new year sale on and these prices are very aggressively priced um, one or two dollars a month they sell them in a per year package but you get two and a half gigabytes of ram here with two cpu cores and this works out to around $2 a month. So um, they've got a few different options here. That one's got uh, three CPU cores and four gigabytes of RAM. So um, very aggressively priced, but all you get with this is a server with an operating system. Nothing else, you have to install it from a command line. I've done the tutorial. I'll put the um, link to the video up in the corner, but you have to run it from the command line um, there's only a few commands you actually have to put in there. It's not that hard, but it's definitely a bit of a increase in skill. I know for a lot of people using a command line interface rather than a graphic interface can feel like a big skill jump. So it's probably the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration. But did you know that Skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes too? The new year is the perfect time to reinvent your goals and yourself. Traditional jobs are not one size fits all. Learn how to design a career fit to you. My own goals are to improve my skills in web development and to reach new audiences through video. Improving in these areas will give me greater control over my career and creative path. I'll mention a couple of classes that I'm taking as a Skillshare member at the moment. So YouTube success, build an authentic channel that's worth the follow. That's by Sorel Amor. Now this is pretty helpful in terms of making my channel more engaging, more meaningful. I think it needs to be more than just about what button to press next. Uh, what form to fill out. I want it to be a bit more interesting than just that. So that's what I'm working on this year. And specific to this video, complete Linux training course to get your dream IT job by Imran Avzal. Now this one is really good. It's massive, 212 lessons, more than 30 hours of content here. And you can really learn the back end of system administration, things like system log maintenance, system maintenance commands are all covered in this course. So if you're curious about really building your skill as a system admin, I think this one is worth checking out as well. So I've put a link in the description. The first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So check that out if you're interested, but let's get back to our video. For those of you who are just starting out, I probably wouldn't go with RackNerd. I'd probably go with Vulture or DigitalOcean. So with Vulture.com, 
you can just install a one-click server image of Plesk Web Admin SE. This makes life very easy because a lot of those things that you're worried about, such as server updates, malware scanning, security updates, those things are covered by Plesk Web Admin SE out of the box. And you get that free with Vulture.com and DigitalOcean.com. So I'll show you what I mean. So with Vulture and DigitalOcean, you can actually install Plesk Web Admin SE with that one-click installer. You never need to touch a command line. You can do that all graphically and you'll get this control panel here. Very easy to add your domain, add your websites and all the things that you're worried about are very well automated. I'll show you what I mean here. So you've got uh, your tools and settings that'll show you your system updates. You've got all of this as default. You've got automatically got Plesk updates, automatic system package updates, and you've got your web application firewall is turned on by default. And you've also got scheduled tasks such as updating the server, updating your malware scanner, doing periodic malware scans. That's all out of the box and that's all covered. So a lot of the things that you're worried about when you're starting out running a server, um, Plesk has that covered. Um, as you install it by default. And the main difference in terms of support, like Vulture will only support the, the backend. So they wanna make sure that your operating system is running and that your server is running. They're not gonna help you manage your WordPress sites. They're not gonna help you manage your control panel. But the good news is that Plesk has a very active um, forum, support forum where you can ask questions and solve a lot of issues just by searching that forum generally. And if you really do need a system admin to help you out with something, it's not that expensive to go on Fiverr or Upwork and just get someone in. If you've got a problem you need resolving or something, you need troubleshooting, uh, you can just go on Fiverr, for example, and find someone. I'll put a link in the description to some gigs that may help you out if you find yourself in that situation. But to wrap this up, if you are interested in moving away from a mainstream WordPress host and moving to your own VPS like Vulture or DigitalOcean, I'd start with um, probably Vulture with Plesk Web Admin SE. Make sure you use the Vulture high frequency. You get a lot of bang per buck with that deal and you can try it out for yourself for, for 30 days as well. So there's no real risk. Um, that's what I started out with when I really wanted to run my own VPS and I've had Plesk servers that have been running for multiple years now with no serious issues. So I can definitely recommend that one, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.